How's it going, everyone? I'm Sonic Dave, and I am frustrated with myself. <laughs> I know it doesn't look it, but just trust me. Where I am, I'm in the completely wrong spot. So, in past couple episodes, this is why I'm frustrated with myself, by the way. In past couple episodes, I've said, eh, I'll figure out the walkthrough as I'm going. I am never doing that again. Because I got stupidly lost and had to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go at the start of this episode. I had to watch two of the previous episodes to be able to even figure out where I was in the guide. This is how you know the guide at least doesn't give away what's going on. But anyway... So we started out last episode kind of coming from this end. So... I mean, there's no way I would have figured this out off the bat, but I'm supposed to go here. Again, how would you just know this? <laughs> You'd be roaming the area for hours on end before finally finding the right place. Let's go in here. Alright. Wait. This doll was not here before. The antique doll you threw down earlier is still lying here. Pick it up. Sure. What was that sound? There's a spirit here. Wait, isn't that our friend? Wait. You know what, the game's telling me to go away, so I'm gonna... Bye! Bye! Alright. So every time I look this way, by the way, I'm just looking at the guide. Oh my gosh. And not just so, I actually had to look up a YouTube video to figure out what the heck I was supposed to do. That, that It took me an hour to figure out where in the world I was supposed to go. Actually, I want to go to the... Can I go to the girls' not lavatory? I know it's weird for a guy to say that, but... I'm playing as a girl. In a horror game. Can't go this way. Why not? Can't bring myself... To see Suzumoto like that again. I feel like... I'll lose my mind. Alright, then I guess we're not going that way. Bye-bye. All right. Um. So I guess go down back to the first floor. And. Hello. Where is that coming from? Sounds muffled. Like one of those toy Mika doll telephones. Is that, am I saying that right, by the way? Mika, M-I-C-C-A, is that how you say that? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's definitely close. Is it the doll? Wait. The doll I'm holding? How about a big fat written no on that one? It's just going to be no written all over that doll's face. Let's go. All right. Um. Where to next? Uh. By the way, what is with all the shoes? It seems utterly random. Hello. I do now that I figured out that one step. Go into the infirmary. Yeah. I don't see any way how I would just know that. Without look, you know, again, without looking it up. It, it's crying again. I don't like the crying. Okay, let's go. We're gonna move onward. Also, dead body. I don't like that. How did I miss this? 
but at the same time, screw you, game. Um. In here, maybe? It has to be on this floor somewhere. I'm not reading that. If I read the five memoirs, I'll get a bad end. I'm not reading that. I want a good end. It's gotta be good. I watch way too much Jim Carrey, so shush. Or Jim Carrey based films. The message you wrote previously is still clear as day. No one's responded yet. I wonder if anyone's even seen it. It'd be helpful if they did. My message. Why did I check that in the first place? I mean, walkthrough tells me to, so I'm doing it. I mean, legitimately, everything that's going on that I'm doing, walkthrough says to do. I mean, quote, walk up and right, enter the first class, well, I, I, sorry. On the left, the first part, 1A. Click the teacher lectern, then exit. What's the point in that? Is that supposed to trigger something that I wouldn't see otherwise? You can't see her. <laughs> no, I know. You're a liar. 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 Those child spirits didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Yeah, that was definitely a lie. Give me back Suzumoto. You know what? She's doing enough crying for me. Those are the tears of myself for a different reason. Yoshiki! Hi! I've said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Kishinuma! Hi. <laughs> you okay, Shinazaki? How the... Weren't you in a... I thought he was like in a basement or something. Getting tortured. I mean, I, I, yes, I see it. I see the scab on his head that he's trying to cover up, but still. Who want to ask, what on earth happened to you? There's blood everywhere. Well, as soon as you turned that corner before, I got struck in the noggin from behind. But I'm fine. Don't worry. I don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. I remember that. The child spirits were there, along with some really big dude holding a hammer. How did you get here, then? Well, after a little while in that room, I lost consciousness again. When I woke up, I was in the first floor hallway. So, did somebody carry you there? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want anyone else to die. Yeah. I... And not mistaken. What? What? If each of these children's spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then these closed spaces, even shaped by their bound souls, should not be able to remain in existence. We let them hear the killer's regrets, though. And it did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with here? Anyway. The man with the hammer who attacked you, he was the... Duh! You, you serious? I mean, even I knew that. Seems he's got a violent streak, even in death, as well. 
He harms the living indiscriminately. Oh boy. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. And how are we supposed to do that? That's a good question. Based on my mentor's research, that antique doll you've got in your hands should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life. Oh. He was given it by his mother. And reportedly, he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. Huh? Okay. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a second. Who's this mentor of yours? Hello. <laughs> okay, uh, Hi, sorry, sorry. Hi. Sorry. You're an investment. I don't know what's happening, Yoshiki. Okay. Okay, can we get out of here, please? Sorry about that. <clears throat> You'll need to find that man's body, or his remains, at any rate. They should be in this school building somewhere. You find them, and return the doll to their side. Everything will be just fine, apparently. Hold on. <laughs> Prepping my guide thing for later since. I don't want to see this! Are we done? Miss Sinoki? Your friend's death is your own fault. Excuse him, Ma? Huh? That's a good question. What the hell was that all about? Do you really believe a word she just said? Maybe not. But. It's as good a place to start as any. Earlier, as I was passing through the first floor, the doll started crying. Like, weeping. Loudly. Dang. Seriously? Let me tell you. I sure didn't miss having that thing around. Well, we might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. By the way... Let's just keep moving, okay? Or can you? How's your head? Wow, that's quite a bump you have. Sheesh! Or, sorry, wrong side. It was this side. Guy was a lousy aim, but he still hit my head full force with that handle. If he'd been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. You should still be dead via blood loss, dude. Damn child killer. You're lucky I just so happen to have some cloth bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing that wound. Part of your prop closet. Trophy urn, searching for him. Take it. Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. Okay. Why the camera shift? All right. Well, uh, um, the shelf is crammed full of very old, thoroughly yellowed books with unusual titles. One book is sticking out farther than the others, as if begging to be pursued. Circumnavigating the ancient world. Read it. Cardinal directions are to be laid flat upon a clock face 
with additional divisions placed amongst them to mimic fully times 12 notches. Beginning with the rat affixed at due north, the 12 signs of the Chinese zodiac shall be labeled clockwise around this timepiece compass. Rat, ox, rabbit, dragon, sorry, rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, um, ram? Yeah. Uh, this is where I start to get fuzzy. I know the first half, but I don't really know the second half. Uh, monkey? Yeah, okay, yeah. Rooster, dog, pig, um... Actually, I think that's all of them. Rat, ox, tiger, Okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's pretty good. That's pretty impressive. For the record, I only directly looked at it, um... Because I wanted to see how many of them I actually knew. I don't know, that's pretty good in my opinion. For ease of remembrance, it's best to... I don't care. I'm assuming it's like rat, like 12 o'clock is rat, and then it's just kind of going in order from 1 o'clock to 12 again. Yeah, okay. Let's just move on. Ah! <sighs> okay. Actually, is there anything I can do down here? I don't think this. Is there anything I can do here? Here, pulling up the guide again. Um. That answer that question. Red door, six steps, horse, 13 paces, rooster. What? I think is on this floor, isn't it? Top right. I think it is. Nope. Nope, I don't want involvement. I don't want involvement. One, two, three. Okay, I guess that's supposed to be six. Um. Then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Huh? Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out some sort of bag in the dark recess... Recesses? Below. Try to pull it out. Sure. This will probably lead to death, but who cares? bit of fidgeting, you were able to remove the item from its compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and stained liberally with blood. There's a name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 3-5, Ryo, Ryo Yoshizawa. What's going to be inside, I wonder? Here, oh look. No way! I'm not touching that thing. You look! You're kidding, right? Both of you look. Ugh. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, me too. Ah! 
What? Oh, that can't be good. Wh wh what? What is it? What's in the bag? See for yourself. What's in the bag? A severed human. Ew! That almost actually sounds like Return It. That's supposed to be the dolls? This name tag, it's a boy's name. Must be the ghost of the little boy. Yeah, that. Oh, boy. What do we do with it? Ugh, it's so nasty. Yeah, I know. Give it back. Goods rightful owner. Yeah, out of your mind? I bet she is. What boy? It's supposed to be... Actually, the only one I can think of is the one that's in the infirmary. Uh... I'm very skeptical about that, though. Plus, where are we on time? Uh, okay. We're actually at the end of the video, anyway. So, next time what we'll do is we'll... We'll start by going to the infirmary. Oh boy. I really hope I don't get as lost as I did last time, though. Well, depends. What, how, how much do we have left to go in this chapter? Way too much. Okay, yeah. So. Okay. So, for me, for me who watches this in the distant future, when I try to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do, uh... Look for main on the walkthrough. This is for my reference specifically. All you don't have to listen if you don't want, but look for main two F east. Walk up, and then enter the infirmary. So look for that. You'll know what I'm talking about. Anyway, now I won't get lost next time. I hope. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Corpse Party Remake. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button. It's so pretty. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a horror game you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. Just please don't make it as confusing as this one. <laughs> um, if you want to check out any other horror games that we've been done on here, click the link in the bottom right corner or try and take you to that destination. If you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across right here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.